friends! Welcome to another school counseling lesson with Miss Lofties. Let's do our come together song. Everybody come sit down, come sit down, come sit down. Everybody come sit down, just like me. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, just like me. Everybody pat your knees, pat your knees, pat your knees. Everybody pat your knees, just like me. Everybody wave your hands, wave your hands, wave your hands. Everybody wave your hands and let them quiet be. Very good, friends. All right, you know what's next. Our second step, early learning listening rules song. Eyes are watching. Ears are listening, voices quiet, bodies calm. This is how we listen, this is how we listen at group time, at group time. Very good friends. All right, so today we're going to do a little movement. We're going to practice moving and stretching our bodies in ways that can help us to calm and relax and center. It can help us get some wiggles out, and it can also help us feel better if we're just feeling kind of anxious, kind of pent up. I know I've been feeling that way since we've been we've been at home practicing staying safe. We haven't got to get out and go to school and all the places that we normally do. And one thing that has been helping me is yoga. So that's what we're going to do today. It's exercise for our bodies and for our minds. So, all right guys, we're going to get started. I'm going to show you some kids yoga and I want you to do it along with me. So find a place in your house, in your home, where you can move a little bit, have room to stretch, and here we go. All right friends, so time to do a little kids yoga with Miss Lefties. This is something that we do in the classroom at times when we're feeling kind of hyped up, a little excited, just to bring us back down, get us to that calm space and ready to learn. So we're going to do a little yoga sequence, a little yoga flow from one of my favorite um, yoga, <laughs> yoga experts on the web. This is from kidsyogastories.com. Uh, it's a great website by Giselle Shardlow and I'll share the link with you. She has lots and lots of um, yoga pose sequences and yoga stories and things that you can buy, but lots of things that she just so generously shares with the world. Um, and I appreciate her for it. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna do some positive affirmations with our yoga today. Let's start by bringing our hands to our hearts and taking a few deep breaths in and out. In and out. One more, in and out. Our first positive affirmation is I am strong. Can you say that with me? I am strong. Very good friends. All right. We're going to pretend to be a strong surfer. This pose is called Warrior Two. So I want you to come up to the front of your mat or your rug or whatever space you're using. And from a standing position, I want you to step one foot back. Turn your foot so it's, it's facing out a little bit. Facing slightly outwards. I want you to take your arms and put them parallel to the ground. That means put them straight out, one in front of the other. Bend your front knee and look forward. Pretend to be a surfer and use your strength as you balance on those tricky waves. Great job. All right, give your body a little wiggle. Let's get ready for our next yoga pose. We're gonna practice the tree pose and our affirmation is I am kind. Can you say that with me? I am kind. Pretend to be a tree. All right, this is gonna take some balance. We're gonna stand on one leg, bend your knee and place the sole of your foot, that's the bottom part, 
on your opposite thigh. You can do it up high above your knee. You can hold it down low. You can even keep it on the ground if that helps you to balance a little bit. Put your arms straight up and pretend to sway like a tree. Think of trees being kind and offering shade, creating oxygen, providing a home for animals to live in. Be a kind tree. Great job, friends. It's tricky to balance like that. Our next kids yoga pose is going to be the chair pose. And our affirmation is, I am brave. Let's say that together. I am brave. Very good. We are going to pretend to be a skier. So I want you to stand tall and step your feet out just a little bit apart, about hip width apart. I want you to bend your knees, but keep your back straight and tall. Hold your hands out in front of you. Reach them up. Pretend to grasp onto ski poles as you fly down a ski run, down the mountain, like a brave and fearless skier. See if you can hold it, friends. Whoosh, 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 as you head down that big snowy mountain. Very good, friends. That would be really fun to be going down a snowy mountain right now, wouldn't it? All right, our next pose is going to be called Downward Facing Dog. And our affirmation is I am friendly. Most dogs are really friendly, aren't they? All right, let's say the affirmation together. I am friendly. All right, to do a downward facing dog pose, I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see this a little better. You're gonna bend down and place your palms, that's the this part of your hand, on the ground. You are going to step your feet back and you're gonna create a V shape with your body. You're gonna push your bottom high in the air, try to straighten out your back and your knees as best as you can. We're gonna relax our head and neck and we're gonna look down between our legs. See if you can make your body into a V shape. Look down at your feet and pretend to be a friendly, friendly dog. Good job, friends. All right, the last yoga pose we're gonna to do today is called the hero pose. And our last affirmation is I am wise. Can you say that with me? I am wise. Very good, friends. All right, so for the hero pose, we're gonna get down on our knees and we're gonna to pretend to be an owl, a wise owl. So I want you to sit on your, put your knees on the ground and sit down. Pretend to be a wise owl. Let's put our hands right here on our knees. Let's keep our shoulders up high. Let's twist our upper body first to the right. So you're gonna take this right hand and kind of put it behind you, your left hand here, and look. Really feel that stretch, friends. Makes me think of how wise owls twist their heads around, but we're twisting our whole body. All right, let's go to the other side. Take that left hand and put it behind you, your right hand across on your left knee, and twist. Very good. Now come back to the center. Let's put our hands on our hearts and take one more big breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Very good, friends. Great work, friends. You just did a kid's yoga flow. I really like the affirmation part of that yoga sequence. Let's say those affirmations together one more time because they're about you and they are very, very true. I'll say it first and you say it after me. I am strong. Your turn. I am kind. Your turn. I am brave. Your turn. 
I am friendly. Your turn. And last but not least, I am wise. Your turn. Great job, friends. All right, friends, what did you think? Did you enjoy that yoga lesson? I really like yoga. It helps my body to calm and relax and feel really grounded and centered. I hope you enjoyed it too. All right, friends, I'm going to leave you with an activity that you can do at home with your family. So parents, this is an easy one. This is something that we do at school a lot. The kids are really familiar with it. When we practice taking our big breaths, breathing in and out, we use a visual like everything in pre-k so miss lefties makes these cards um this is an example of how you could make and draw one at home too i'll leave you with a little video of it so we call them candle and flower cards for candle and flower breathing so friends let's show our family let's show them how we do our candle and flower breathing so on one side of the card we have a flower and on the other side a candle so we give the, the kids a card and we imagine together. We breathe in, we smell our flower. That's breathing in through your nose. And then we blow out our candle. So let's do it one more time, kids. Let's show them what how we do. All right, breathe in and smell your flowers. Breathe out, blow out that candle. Using a visual is a really fun way to help kids to practice that deep, breathing. All right, I'm going to leave you with uh, just a quick little video to show you how you can make one of these at home. All right, friends, I miss you lots. I hope to see you soon. Bye.